Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video we're going to learn how to remove records with missing data in R. Now when we're conducting data analysis it's quite common for us to come across records or lines in a data set where some values are missing. So this could be due to um, data not being recorded or a user input error and so on. But we need to be able to deal with these missing records uh, because it can upset or mess up our uh, calculations or any data analysis that we do. And there are several ways of dealing with um, missing values. And the first one I want to take a look at in this video is to uh, look at how do we remove any record that has a missing value in it from the data set. So I'm going to take a look at a data set here. It's called 74 underscore data underscore file dot CSV. Uh, this data file uh, plus all R scripts and all data files used in this series are available from my GitHub. And you'll find a link to that in the information section on the uh, underneath this video on the YouTube page. So I'm going to take a look at this data file first of all in Excel. And we can see here, this is the uh, data that I uh, made up. So we have uh, five, um, five uh, variables. We've got a date, state, codes for those states, sales figures, and then revenue from those sales. So these numbers and, uh, are, are made up completely. And you can see here that I've deliberately left out two values. So there's a missing code in, on, on, in, in the code variable, and I'm also missing a revenue number for on line five. Uh, so these two missing values will, be, will, will need to be dealt with. So essentially what I'm going to do here is I am going to, uh, because I can't deal with these, I'm going to just remove these two lines from the data set so that I can continue my data analysis. So let's go back into the R concept script and let's run the, uh, the line of code to read the file in and uh, then print out the, the uh, resulting sales data data frame. And we can see here it looks like what we've just been looking at in, the, um, in, in Excel on the CSV file with two small differences. We can see first of all that NA has with, with the angle brackets has been added in to show that there is a missing value on line four in the um, code character variable. And NA without the angle brackets is listed in the numeric revenue variable. So uh, R deals with uh, text uh, character uh, variables and numeric variables in a different way. So now what I want to be able to do is I want to try and identify these two lines. Um, and I'm going to use logical operators to do that. So first of all, uh, I'm going to use the function called complete cases. Now this function, what it will do is it will show me um, all records where there are no missing values. In other words, that they are complete. So I'm going to do this for my sales data. And let's run this piece of code. And you can see here that it's telling me uh, complete cases. There are 10 records. And we can see that the first record is complete, the second is complete, the third is complete. But lines 4 and line 5 are not complete. As we can see in our code, lines 4 and line 5 in the output are not complete. So we are able to uh, identify lines that are incomplete. And we can also see after that that the remaining five records or lines in the data set are complete. Now we're able to identify the complete lines, but can we identify the incomplete lines? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this piece of code and do the opposite of what I'm done doing here, paste it in. And before complete.cases, I'm going to put in the not operator, which is the exclamation mark on your keyboard. So I'm now going to run this and we can compare the two outputs in our console uh, down at the bottom of our screen. We can see when we're looking for complete cases, we have found all the complete cases as true and when we are doing the opposite of that, in other words, looking for not ones that are not complete, we can see that we're getting true values here for the fourth and the fifth record. So this way we can uh, identify where the cases are complete and where they are not complete. But this is a very awkward way of uh, trying to find values, particularly if the data set is very, very large. But, so what we can do is use these um, functions here to help us to show the actual records where cases are complete and where the, where the records are not complete. So I'm going to show my sales data uh, with square brackets and complete cases again. Complete dot cases. Open and close uh, curly brackets and sales data. So I'm doing this for the full data set. And after that then, because I've got angled brackets here, I need a comma uh, and a space for readability. So this is going to show all the records with no missing values because it's, I want this to show only the complete cases in the sales data data set. So let's run that. 
And we can see here we're seeing a, a shorter output. We've got lines 1, 2 and 3 shown, but lines 4 and 5 are missing. Lines 6 to 10, are, which are complete, are all displayed. So in this way, it's a quick way for me to show um, all complete records. And of course, then I can do the opposite of that, which I've done previously. So I'm going to copy this line of code, paste it in underneath and add in the not operator here, the exclamation mark, in front of the second complete.cases. So in this case here, I wanted to just display, uh, uh, using the complete.cases function, uh, records that are not complete. So run that. And you can see here lines four and five only are being shown. So this is a great way to identify not only complete cases, but incomplete cases as well. So the final thing I want to do here is I uh, still haven't removed these from my data set. So now I'm going to reset my sales data and assign it uh, a sales data, angle brackets, complete cases, complete cases for sales data. So I'm going to show complete cases only. Um, um, comma and uh, uh, space for readability. So run that and now I'm going to finally print out my sales data again. I've now reassigned this and run this and my data set now contains only the values that are complete. I could also equally do something simple if I, similar if I wanted to just identify the incomplete uh, rows of data. So now my data set is, 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 uh, contains only complete values and I can now continue to perform my data analysis. So that's how you remove records of missing data in R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.